Alrighty then. Today, in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the difference between speed and velocity. Okay? Now, these differences are very, very similar to the differences we outlined in the last video regarding distance and displacement. You see, speed is um, in units, in SI units of meters per second. Velocity has SI units of meters per second. However, speed is a scalar quantity. It does not have direction. On the other hand, our little friend here, velocity, has um, direction and magnitude. It is a vector. So this does have direction. Has direction. Okay? It has hope for the future. All right. So, scalar versus vector, speed versus velocity. Now, how do you calculate speed? Well, let's say Mr. Nikola or Marty goes from his home, this is my home, okay? And he wants to end up at school. Okay? This is school. This is where Nikola works. Okay? Um, the displacement is the change of position, just as we had spoken of earlier in a previous video. It's just the change of position, the arrow drawn from point one to point two. This is the displacement. Displacement. Okay? Great! So, what was the distance then? Well, the distance was the sum of these two quantities, meaning I add those two lengths. So the example we had before, we had, I believe, three kilometers and four kilometers, and the displacement's magnitude turned out to be five kilometers after applying Pythagorean theorem. Awesome! Now, how the heck does this relate to speed and velocity? Well, I'll tell you. Speed V equals total distance over the total time, the elapsed time, okay? Where this is distance, and this sucker is time. How does velocity get calculated? Well, velocity has a very similar form, but what I'm going to do, because it's a vector, I'm going to put an arrow on top of V. Velocity's equation looks very similar to speeds. However, instead of having distance in the numerator, no, 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 we have displacement. Okay, displacement. So that's the main difference between speed and velocity, aside from being a scalar versus a vector. You have to calculate them in two different ways. <clears throat> To get the velocity vector, what I would have to do is do displacement okay, over time. Now let's say to go from point 1 to point 2, to go from home to school, it takes me about, hmm, let's say 50 minutes, okay, 50 minutes. So in 50 minutes, I go from home to school. Then the displacement vector, okay, which before in the previous video was 5 kilometers east, 53 degrees south, okay, will be in the numerator, whereas in the denominator, I'll have 50 minutes. Okay? All I have to do is divide out 5 and 50, and I get the magnitude of my velocity vector, which is 1 divided by 10. That's how I'd reduce that, kilometers per minute. And I'd still have the same direction as my displacement. That doesn't change. Whereas with distance, or excuse me, with speed, I would calculate distance over time. So speed in this case, I'm going to try to fit in the calculation, equals 7, which is the total, Okay, between 3 and 4, divided by 50 minutes, kilometers per minute. 
7 divided by 50. That's it. That's the difference between speed and velocity. I hope this video was awesome. If you like this video, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.